Good morning everyone, Bandita here. And here we are getting started with this Agatha, Agatha Christie, the ABC Murders. First time streaming this. Um, I decided to stream this because, you know, it's something new. Um, after doing Carmen, it's just, you know, I, do, I just have that mystery puzzle. Let's solve some you know some mystery vibe right now so I decided you know let's try this Agatha, Agatha Christie games you know her books are very famous everybody knows about her books um so you know let's just try and get started I'm not sure how long this stream will be but let's uh get started with this all right so I did do a test just to make sure all the sound levels and everything sounded good so, um, yeah, I do have a streaming profile, so let's just get started and see where this mystery takes us. All right, here's the main screen. As you can see, I did not start. This is my first time streaming this, first time playing this game. Um, you know, I already adjusted some of the volume, you know, just to make sure you can hear me clearly over the background music made sure this is my screen resolution make sure it's of high quality and I'm using a mouse to control everything all right let's get started collect equal points by acting the same way as Hercule Poirot June 18th 1935 Poirot's apartment London let's see what's going on ah Some post for you, Poirot. Mr. Hercule Poirot, you fancy yourself, don't you, at solving mysteries that are too difficult for our poor thick head British police? Let us see, Mr. Clever Poirot, just how clever you can be. Perhaps you'll find this nut too hard to crack. Look out for Endover on the 21st of the month. Yours extra. A. B. C. Uh oh. Ah, it's some sort of joke. Maybe. But please remind me to inform Chief Inspector Jap. Ah, signs his name ABC. Okay. Looks like days are going by. Nice intro. Great central way where official ABC. Uh-oh. Who's this guy? Okay. So it looks like we're getting a view of everything. It's here, Poirot. The murder took place in this street. Grim place indeed. To the fair, Hastings. The streets of Andover are in a terrible state. Look, there's Chief Inspector Jap. He's talking with a policeman. Let us try not to get our shoes wet. <laughs> okay. Have you seen the timeline and the bonuses? You'll be able to relive the events in chronological order. Help is available in the pause menu at any time. Okay, so it's June 22nd, 1935, and we're in Andover. New question available is a theft mode. All right, so we have, we're in Andover now, looking at, hold on a second there. Okay, so looks like we have some people to talk to. Okay, there's nothing there. Oh, I meant to actually <laughs> talk to some of these people, but nothing is appearing. Shop for rent. It's a cat up there. This is our partner here. Don't dilly dally, Pyro. Chap will be waiting for us. Okay, well, I want to take a look around. 
Missing cat? Isn't there a cat up there? Oh, what's this button? I don't even know what these are. I'll check it out later. I'm just clicking to see if there's anything. Gosh, a puddle. How clumsy. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well, first let me figure out what these things are. What is this? Objectives. Go and meet Jap. Okay, so that's our objective panel there. This is our notebook. It's empty. Little gray cells. Is... Is theft the motive for the crime? Okay. Ah, okay. Here you are making Perot's little gray cells work. The aim is to answer the questions he asks himself by establishing the links between the clues in order to deduce an answer. Slide the clues onto the empty boxes to fill the holes. Okay. Well, I don't have anything yet, so we can't really answer what this is. Okay, so I clicked on that to see what that's all about. All right, let's go ch talk to Jap. All right, so Gosh, you know what those are. Puddle. How clumsy. Sorry, so which one is Jap? Your progress is saved automatically. Okay, cool, nice to know. Ah, the police walks off. I'm oh, assuming this is Jap. Hastings and Poro. You missed the nine o'clock train? We took the half past 10. Luckily, the service is good to Andover. So, Chief Inspector, what do we have? The victim is called Alice Asher. She owned this tobacco shop. Alice Asher? She was killed yesterday with a blow to the back of the head. That's amazing. Post time. Book. Okay. Let me just check. Information added in Perot's notebook. Okay. Take advantage of the moments when the person you are with is busy in order to observe him or her. You will obtain clues about his or her state of mind. Okay. Help. Find three clues that agree with Cur Hercule Perot's remark. Is Jap being too relaxed? Let us find the clues that prove it. Too relax. Well, his hands. He's not really doing anything. Hat tip proudly on the back of his head. Slight smile. All Jack right. He's in a good mood. I bet he thinks he's already called the culprit. Okay, cool. Congratulations, you've won the, the last trophy. Last customer to see Mrs. Asher alive left her shop at half past five. Okay. The body was found at around eleven in the evening by an officer doing his rounds. The shop door was open. That's what alerted him. Had anything been taken? A little tobacco, maybe, but you'd hardly murder for a few smokes. There's nothing of any real value in the shop. What hmm. type of woman was Mrs. Asher? In her fifties. Married, but separated. No children. A husband? Aha, Franz Asher, the husband. Alcoholic and violent. It's said that he regularly insulted his wife and threatened to kill her. Hmm... It is too obvious, but let's see what his opinion is. Do you think he's guilty? We'll look for Franz Asher. If he doesn't have an alibi, the case is closed. A very unoriginal murder. Right, exactly. May I examine the crime scene? Of course, old chap. I'll be with you in a minute, Poirot. You object and inspect the crime scene. One clues available. Okay. So we know that the husband is violent and threatened to kill his wife, but you know, when someone is murdered, you always look to their spouse as the main suspect. And not to mention, um, his violent behavior and stuff like that, that can really add to his motive, but we don't know what's behind that. So, okay, objective, expect the crime scene, our notebook. All right, so our victim is Alice Asher. She's about 50 years old um, in Andover. She owns a tobacco shop, married to Franz Asher. She lived alone. She was killed in her tobacco shop by a blow to the back of the head. Yikes, poor lady. 
So he, she's married to Franz Asher. She lived alone. So were they separated? Maybe that could be a, another motive for her husband. Um, she was killed at her shop, blow to the back of the head. So obviously we have to see what witnesses and stuff. So we do have to inspect the crime scene. Let's go to our clue. Is theft the motive for the crime? But we don't know that yet. What is this? Decoration where the body's found at about 11 p.m. No objects of value sale in the shop. So that'll be a no. Wait, no objects of value for sale in the shop. So theft couldn't be a motive because there's no items of value. Huh. I don't know. And what's this? The body was found about 11 p.m. Well, it's nighttime. That's when you usually steal. But I think this no objects of value for sale in this shop. So why would theft be a motive? I think I'll leave that there for now. And let's see what we can find in the crime scene. Okay, so here is her. Is there anything else that I need to look at? Alright, I won't get ahead of myself. Let's go to the crime scene. Some objects in your inventory can be modified. See whether an icon of a hand is displayed on the side. Okay. Alright, so we're at the crime scene. What is there to look at? Everything. Make sure my mouse cursor is everywhere. Oh, what's over here? The place is unusually tidy for a crime scene. Exactly. Observe particular places in the and try you for the information. Magazine the papers in order, yeah. I mean these are all in order. Well ordered shelves. What else? Can... No signs Nothing of a struggle. Any sign of a fight. Hmm. Interesting. Make sure there's nothing in these cabinets over here. There she is. Oh, let's look at this first. Ooh, blood. What is going on? Observe the object from all angles by holding and clicking and moving the mouse. Red liquid is oozing out. Is it blood? Ah, strawberries. Oh, it's just some strawberries that are losing their juice. They probably come from the fruit and vegetable shop opposite. Mmm. Okay. Good. It's not blood. <laughs> What's this? It's not oh. just any railway guide. It's an ABC. Ah. So what exactly is an ABC? It's open at the letter A. There are no prints on the book. Mmm. Of course there's no prints. Can't make it too easy for us, can it? <laughs> What else are we missing? I looked at that. Ooh, there's handprints. The counter is covered with fingerprints all yeah. on top of one another. Unfortunately, it will not be possible to use them. Of course it won't be possible to use them. Can't make it too easy, can we? <laughs> oh man. That's amazing. Okay, new question. Plus four ego points. Cool. We don't know what that means as of yet. So we're still inspecting the crime scene as our objective. Anything new added to the notebook? Nothing yet. Just about the victim. And let's go to our... How do we explain the presence of an ABC guide on the counter? Let's 
is this? That could be one. Mrs. Asher was seen alive at 5.30 p.m. Train schedule? Hmm, let's go back to motive for the crime. What does this do? Nothing? Okay, looks like that doesn't do anything yet, so let's continue to inspect the crime scene. There she is. Jeez. She has a packet of play she got next to her hand. Did she drop it when she fell? Hmm. There's some blood with that poor strawberry. Head is resting in a very even shaped pool of blood. Yeah, it is. This poor woman's head is resting in a very even shaped pool of blood. Was the body moved? Hmm. Hmm. The body is hidden by the counter and is not visible from the tobacco shop store. Yeah. Many customers might have thought that Mrs. Asher had popped out. Hmm. She just has one wound on the back of the head. There are no other wounds or signs of a struggle. I can't see any other mark on the floor. Yeah, this is interesting. Seems at the register. Help. Objects hide secrets behind complex mechanisms. Up to you to de decipher them in order to find what they are hiding. Observe the object from all angles by holding and clicking by holding the click and moving the mouse. Zoom in by clicking on the part of the object with the left button of the mouse. Zoom out by using the right button or click on the arrow icon. Some elements move by holding the left click of the mouse and moving it. The teal does not appear to have been touched. Hmm. I have to check that nothing is missing from it. What's that? Eight? What does that mean? Hmm. That's interesting. Or is that even a number? What's that? Something is preventing the drawer from opening. Maybe you need to type in something? Who knows? It would be best to examine the rest of the till. Okay. I will then. Ah, what's this? Eight five? That's another number. Eight five. Lock up. Ah, a mechanism has just made a fan click. Okay, so eight five. I just got the eight and the five. There's nothing else. Did I examine everything? I think I did. Eight five. Wonderful open. The tail is full ah. of money, but there is something strange. Eight five two. The tail is full of money. There is something strange. Something is hidden underneath. So do I something do. Something is hidden underneath. <laughs> so eight five two is the number that we have. I wonder what that does. What's this? Money. So it couldn't be theft. Interesting. Okay. Let's do... 852. 8. Five. Ooh, there's a key. This must be the key to the back of the shop. Nice. Okay. One clue available again. 
Congratulations, you won the trophy single gear achievement plus five ego points. Awesome. Let's check there the shelves. There are cigarette packets in a mess on the shelves. Hmm. So were they trying to steal some cigarettes? Is that why that cigarette fell? Ah, Hastings. So, Poirot, any news? So, an ABC guide with no fingerprints, but prints all over the counter. Normally, the tobacco shop does not sell ABC guides. Hmm. Exact. Mon ami, could you have a word with the neighbors? Some may have seen something. Of course, my friend, I'll do it straight away. Thanks, Hastings. Okay, new object and suspect Mrs. Asher's bedroom. Okay, one clue available. We'll check that out. So just to recap, we do have a new objective. We already talked to the chief inspector, Jap. We ins were inspecting the crime scene. Now we have to inspect Mrs. Asher's bedroom. Uh, nothing was really updated in the notebook yet. But we do have clues available. Was Mrs. Asher killed on sight? Okay, more gray cells to look at. No other marks on the floor. Hmm. She was seen alive at 5.30 p.m. Body was found about 11 p.m. Pool of blood near her head. Yeah. Hmm. No other marks on the floor. Pool blood near her head. She was killed on sight. Mrs. Asher was killed here. The absence of marks in the shop and the regular shape of the blood stains indicated beyond a doubt. Hmm. Okay. So we got that. I know. Notice with the little mustache twirling, that that's the auto save, which is amazing. All right, theft for the murder. Let's see what we have. No railroad guide. Tools untouched and full of money. Exactly, and I already have that one. Theft is not the motive of the crime. Exactly. Like the it's too clean. It's definitely not financial gain. No money there is missed. No sign of a struggle, and the till has not been forced or emptied. Mm hmm. All right, let's check the other one. How do we explain the presence of an ABC guide on the counter? What is this one? That could be it. Uh, but is the ABC guide no real work? I'm not sure. Let me see what he deduce. It was left by a murderer as a signature. Yeah, exactly. The murderer deliberately left behind this ABC as a signature. The absence of fingerprints and the fact that it is open at letter A for Endover leaves little doubt. Yeah. All right, so we got five ego points. Cool. Um, I don't think we have anything else left to solve. And this key is interesting. A large rusty key found in Alice Asher's till. Oh wait, I could see if I can examine it. I forgot. <laughs> Is there really anything to examine? No, it's just a key. Okay, cool. Okay, now let's go over here. See where her bedroom is. Ah, private. Keep out. This is the door is locked. Key, but we have a key though. Ah, there we go. All right, here's her bedroom. Pictures off kilter. Let's check this out on the what table. What a strange box. It looks like you have to slide the slats of wood to open it. Uh oh. Here we go. Hold on. Let me see. Let's observe. Oh, wait. Ah, 
This button appears to activate the mechanism. Okay. Do I have to sign anything here? Nope. There's something. Mm, it is blocked. Okay, so it's blocked. So I need to unlock something. Else. Ah, here's something. Let me see. Okay, so there's nothing on this side to unblock. There's something at the top. Mm, it is blocked. Ah, oh, still? Jeez. Okay. Uh, so what's left? Ah, this. Ah, here we go. That should do it. Oh, really? There we go. Oh, this is a picture of her, her daughter, niece. Who is this young woman? Yeah, who is she? Must be writing. To my dear Aunt Alice, ah. To my dear Aunt Alice. Mary Drower. Five Fishes Pro Landover. Okay. Have you found anything? The victim has a niece. We must find her. Nice. Okay. Five ego points. Information added in Perot's notebook about Mary Drower. All right, let's check that out. She's Alice Asher's niece. That's about all we know about her. Okay. Let's continue. Ooh, is that bl blood on the pillow? Blood. Huh, and right here, Did too. Alice Asher suffer from nosebleeds? That could, could be deduced from that. Oh. An inscription in German. Souvenir of our honeymoon in the Black Forest. To my oh, Alice her Reiner, husband. Franz Asher. The ashes were a lovely couple when they were young. Huh, interesting. Two eagle points. Okay, what else do we need to look at? What's here? Hmm. Oh, another puzzle. <laughs> This is interesting. I actually kind of like these. Okay. Such a pretty decoration should be at the center of the motif to respect the symmetry. All right, let's see. Um, so we have to get this out of here, but that's a block. Okay, so we got that connected to this. Ooh, or... Oh, you can also move this. That doesn't do anything as to the middle. Oh no, you can't do it that way. Uh, nope. Nope. Okay, so that... Aha! Go. Sound as if something was unlocked. Okay. What's 
this? These drawings appear to be attached to the chest of drawers. They won't move. Okay, they won't move. These drawings appear to be attached to the chest of drawers. They won't move. Okay. Um, let's see. Looks like there's another puzzle here. I have no idea what to do with this. Mm, it is blocked. It's blocked, so how do I unblock it? Get more. Nothing on the back. Mm, it is blocked. Mm. Oh, okay. I don't even know what to do with this. Oop. That moved something. That moved something. Okay. What does that mean? It didn't do anything. The red hand isn't even there anymore. What did I do? Oh, there we go. 